Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, we will discuss a very important instruction move, which is used to copy the data from one register to the other register and it moves the data from one location to the other location. So, it is very important instruction used in the GX developer software used for the Mitsubishi PLCs. We need to first of all clear our concept about the 16 bit and the 32 bit data values registers are 16 bit for example this is d20 d30 these are the 16 bits and the counters c200 c201 and so on these are 32 bit they can store the value of 32 bit and these registers can store the value of 16 bit when we turn x1 on this move instruction will copy the value of 10 k10 to the register d20 so this is a 16 bit value it will be copy to the register d20 d20 and a very a very important instruction is move p which copies the data at the rising edge of the input pulse for example this is x2 when we turn on x2 it will copy the data at the rising edge from d20 to d30 and this is again a 16 bit value will, will, which will be copied to d30 here is very important other thing when we want to copy the 32 bit data or double word data then we add d before the move instruction d move it means that it will copy the 32 bit data double word data when we add d move it will copy c200 value which is 32 bit uh, counter it will move it will be copied to the d40 and d41 respectively we already know that d40 is a register which contains 16 bit data it has 32 bit data so it will not be occupied only in d40 it will also be transferred to the next consecutive register that is d40 and d41 so this data will be copied to d40 and d41 in the similar way if you want to move a data with the rising edge we will add the instruction p to the instruction d move d move p this will transfer the data at the rising edge of the input pulse for example here here is another scenario here we have the data registers d20 and d25 d20 we already know it is a 16 bit register so it will move the double word value from d20 and the next consecutive register d21 to the register d25 and the next con uh, consecutive register d26 we can, we can also confirm it from the manual here you can see that this is a auxiliary relay and when, when we move the value at the rising edge of the input signal it will move the value d20 to d387 after the signal operation has been performed copying to the register 0387 stops even if the m110 remains set the signal sequence illustrates this this is its waveform you can check it out here you can see that in the example below the contents of d20 are written to the data register d387 when the state of the input relay m110 changes from 0 to 1 this will date this data will be moved uh, this 16 bit data will be moved to this register d387 it's a 16 bit value in case of 32 bit value we can see that when we use double word value a counter will use a double word value it will be moved to the register d40 and in the similar case d move p here is the value of d10 and d610 these two values these two registers are 16 bit registers when relay m10 is set the contents of registers d10 and d11 there is no d11 but it will take the value from next consecutive register d10 and d11 are written to the registers d610 which is here and it is not present but it will be also transferred to the next consecutive register of the, this destination register and which is D611. So you should know that the first value is the defined value that we want to move and the second value is the destination. First position is the defined value that we want to move or copy. The second value is the destination. So when we have double word value, the first register value is 16 bit and the next consecutive register will be added to it D10 and D11 and it will be moved to the register d610 and d611 next consecutive register in this way you can move the double word value here this is the same thing and the similar thing we don't have the double word value we have the 16 bit value and we can check it out in this program write to plc program execute yes yes go to online monitor mode return x1 on x1 is turned on the value of 10 is moved to the d20 x2 is turned on the value is again d20 is moved to d30 and x4 is already turned on but it has no value x4 is turned on it is a double word value 
but there is no value in the count to see 200 if there is a value of double word value it's a 32 bit value it will be moved to the register d40 and d41 the next consecutive register and in in x3 when it is turned on it there is no double word value but two 16 bit one is 16 bit value which, which is we want to copy and the destination position is d25 so d move p on the rising edge of the input signal x3 it will move the value in the register d20 and d21 to the registers d25 and do d26 the next consecutive register so you need to remember and practice these instructions these are very important instruction used for the 16-bit and the 32-bit data registers thank you so much for watching this video